Hey there, everyone. Art Burns here. Hope you're all having a great day. Uh, so somebody I know posted something this morning on social media about arguments on social media. and <laughs> It really resonated with me because I used to get into arguments on social media all the time. And, uh, and, and the, what this woman was talking about was, uh, was really, you know, really brilliant uh, stuff that she was talking about. It's like the neuroscience of why we do this, you know. And, and it turns out that, that you know, when we're, when we're, you know, engaging in sort of this act of like putting someone in their place or, you know, giving them our two cents or maybe even giving them their comeuppance, you know, we're, we're releasing a, a cocktail of neuro, uh, neurotransmitters, as this woman uh, calls it, uh, which, which, you know, create this feeling of happiness and, and a feeling of well-being, you know, physically and emotionally, right? And, uh, but the problem is, and, and I, you know, I used to do this all the time, you know, but I realized as I developed self-awareness, I realized that, that these, the, the feelings of, of pleasure that came from this, number one, they weren't as strong as I thought they were. And number two, they were very short-lived. And, and in the end, and, you know, sort of coming down from them felt worse than before I had, you know, started in them, right? And, uh, and I found that, that the, the perfect antidote to, 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 you know, sort of getting and get, you know, lured into these arguments, right, uh, is, is compassion, you know. Um, you know, when we practice compassion, you know, we, we realize that, um, that, you know, that everybody is acting from a place of, of pain or insecurity or, or, you know, suffering on some level, you know, so many things that people do are motivated to, you know, to relieve their own suffering, right? And, and when we can, when we can realize that, you know, Tara Brock tells a great story about this. She, she talks about, you know, walking through the woods and imaginary woods and, and seeing a dog that, that, you know, that is snarling at you and scares you and makes you feel like, like, you know, you want to fight to, to, to defend yourself, right? And, and then she says, you know, but, but imagine you, you then look and you see that the dog's leg is caught in a trap. And, and when you see that the dog's leg is caught in a trap, notice how your, your perception changes, you know, all of a sudden, like now you've gone from this feeling of fear and maybe resentment or, or anger. And, and now you realize that this dog is just suffering and all this, this, you know, aggression is coming from a place of pain and suffering. And so therefore the dog, the dog, you know, requires our compassion not our, you know, defense mechanisms, right? And, and when we can do this, right, it's going to really sort of level out our emotional roller coaster. So instead of getting into these, you know, sort of online arguments where you're, you know, getting high on these neurotransmitters and then dropping down with the, you know, as soon as they go away and you're looking for another argument, this is all happening subconsciously, of course. But, but this, you know, when we can practice compassion, we kind of even it out. And, and then the happiness that we feel is really, really, you know, deep and long lasting as opposed to this very short lived and, and shallow kind of uh, happiness that comes from this sort of arguing online. So, uh, you know, I've said a lot here in, in three minutes. So if, if you want to talk about this further and, and to find out how compassion exercises can really, uh, you know, how, how you can practice this and, uh, and change the way that you sort of perceive things on an automatic level, I'd be happy to talk about that with you. So drop a comment below or send me a direct message and I'd be, I'd be so happy to get into a conversation with you about that. All right, everybody. Have a great day. I wish you well. Take care.